Hey there do-it-yourself technicians, I'm Mark and this is Lizzie joining us for this special project. Today we have a special project we're putting together. This Chao speaker came from a school that I used to work at. It used two wireless microphones that are an old standard that's no longer available to be used in Australia anymore because they've reallocated those frequencies. So it got left orphaned and then chucked into storage and lost and forgotten about and I finally found it again and thought we'd run a bit of a project with it. Okay, let's test it out. How are you testing? So this is a three and a half millimeter or eighth of an inch auxiliary cable into my phone, headphone jack, jack English. We should show them the other side. Let's <laughs> unplug it for now and get rid of that hum. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. I'll just it in the background. Okay. This is the other side that you couldn't see. 240 volt in. There's also a DC in. Although it doesn't specify what. Because the system is actually battery powered. So the great thing about it is you can actually take it on the road. It would have been designed for like a school sports day, that sort of thing down on the oval. Tape deck, two wireless mic controllers, a line in, a line out, tape vo volume, tone adjustment. Did I say mic in? Yeah. And then there's also a speaker out and a switched speaker out. But, our project for this is to turn it into Bluetooth. Roll the intro. It also has those really cool wheels so that you can wheel it around because it's not insignificantly heavy. A bit loose, they'll probably tighten those up. Yeah. We'll do lots of things. There's also the plastic on the bottom. It's actually snapped away and it's got loose screws, which is why I put it on this piece of cardboard so I don't scratch up the already scratched up table. Mm. Yes, it's going to need probably a paint job. I can do that. But yes. Paints it rainbow. <laughs> we don't need tape, so we're going to see if we can use the inputs that it has for the tape to put in a Bluetooth receiver and make it a giant Bluetooth speaker. So, let's see what's inside. So we've propped it up so that you can see. That's got a magnet. A <laughs> couple of tools. Let's see how this goes. They come out very easily. Could it be screwed at the sides here? At this point we had a lot of trouble getting the back cover off. It turns out there was a screw hiding under a sticker that wasn't helping our course at all. We eventually got the back door off which included this big holder containing the batteries. From the inside we also removed the two wireless modules that we have no use for anymore. What are you trying to do? Okay so right on the edge of the circuit board there mm -hmm. it says I think DC out. So can we take that out? No, that's providing power. So those two wires are providing power. And these three at the front? No, that is these three at the front. So these black and red ones here? So the black and red ones, mm -hmm. two of them go to the speaker and the other two will be the sound from up here into this part of the amplifier. Okay. So basically we only need Yes, those five wires that go up, power going up, and sound coming back down. Okay. Which makes sense. Yep, that does make sense. It also means we can unplug that, and unplug that, 
and the whole top's free! Yay! Woo! that and I think it's just so Tight tightly in there. in there that we just slowly walk it out. Where's the trusty butter knife that worked? Okay, I'll go ahead and take that screw out. Never mind, it's not even oh. in there. No, it's not in there, it's in here. Oh, no, we must have pushed it in. We pushed it in. <laughs> Well, that's gone forever. No, it hasn't. You see it? Yeah, I can feel it. It pushes up against the logo on the front. No, it's not loose. Oh. It's pushing up against the, oh, the <laughs> panel, which just pushes out. Well, we can get the front out. Yeah, I'm not. Hmm. Oh. Dust. Oh, bit of dust? Just a bit, you know. Probably more dust than that first video. Did. Wow. Oh, is this thing sitting in the Sahara Desert? Okay, no, it doesn't have that much dust. No. Just, just a little bit there. Yeah. Okay. So. I mean, we still need that if we're going to do any testing mm -hmm. to make sure it works, but. I was going to say, don't put those under there. Now we're going to take the toe deck out, right? Yeah. Because we, um, oh, actually, we, did, we need to unplug this cable still. Yeah, well, several. Well, no, because that's the only cable that goes in between. The rest of them just cut. I reckon. Because mm. we don't need them for any. Well, unless you want to keep the tape deck. Tape deck. I don't know why. Because I don't want to do anything irreparable until I know what does what. Okay. That there wasn't some voltage being supplied by the tape deck mm -hmm. that makes it all work. Which is wondering why I'm wondering now that we've got the tape deck completely isolated. Mm -hmm. Should we plug it back in and see if we can get audio out of here, out of the bits that we did have? Mhm. Mm yep. So that means we need to plug just these two cables back in. Mm -hmm. See how they're slightly differently spaced? Other end of your yep. So that they, you make sure you put it back on the right way. Hmm. Because it doesn't actually go into a socket as such, there's just three pins. Yep. Tuck the battery wires out of the way down there. Because we have to plug this in. Mm -hmm. Power. Line in? Yep. Go? No. We have to plug this into power. Oh. <laughs> anything down there. Yep. Oh, well, it, it's on. Can turn the power button up here? No, it's on. It's on, is it? It's loading. Come on, internet, don't fail me now. So the tape deck doesn't have anything to do with the power. Cool. Can turn that That's what I figured. There's still a little bit of latent power there Just for a little while. Just give us the battery low signal. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, duh. The battery's mm -hmm. here. It's like, hi, I think I'm lacking a bit of battery. Charge, can you charge? Well, it is something that warns you that there is still voltage in here. Yeah. So, that is important. So, did I bring a small screwdriver for you? Yes, I you did. did. Now, interestingly enough, one of these is missing. Mm -hmm. Which is the one that's screwed in from under here. Okay. Which means when we take this bracket out, mm -hmm. we're taking out the thing that screws this bottom panel to this. Okay. Which could be a concern, but we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Yep, that's a problem for future me. Yeah. You got these two? Uh, well, that depends how much of this comes out. I think oh, the no, whole actually, lot will come out. Yep. Yeah. So the front one was missing. The back one has that screw in it. 
I think that it is possible that so that is now out. Woo! And we have a very big empty front panel. Yay! Well, also not yay because you have to fill it with a Bluetooth receiver. Yeah. Could we take the front panel of the tape deck and make it a Bluetooth receiver that looks like a tape deck? With a broken door? Possibly! Because that would be cool, like retro. <laughs> okay, so the tape volume is still here. Mm hmm. We don't really need that. Actually, that'll well, be the Bluetooth. Well, that'll be the Bluetooth volume. Unless we use the wireless mic connector. We could do that too. But I mean, like, every system has some useless buttons. Well, either the tape's going to be useless or the wireless microphones are going to be useless. Unless you want to put three Bluetooth. No. Then everybody can like I was gonna string say to no. it. Can you imagine the fights? You'd be like, no one listen to this song. We'll just connect your phone to it. <laughs> no one will listen to this song. Yeah, I was wondering if we could wire one of these because you know you need the button on the Bluetooth mm -hmm. to pair so, it. Yeah. Also, could we, you know? No. Um, the stop the play button. Wow. Do you reckon we could? Wow. That's taking it to a whole new level. An achievable level? I don't know. <laughs> it depends what Bluetooth we get and what functionality it has. That's true. That's so true. Mm -hmm. that will be one of our next steps is to go looking at Bluetooth receivers. Yeah. Because you can pay anything from... $2 to $700. Yeah, mm, add an extra zero, but yeah. $2 to $7,000. <laughs> or $20 to $700. Yeah. So we're going to need to pull apart this battery. Yes, to find out what the batteries are so we can buy some new ones. Yep. Um, oh, that screw never came out. <laughs> uh, see if that'll do it. This one back here. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I'm not very good at screwdriver. Okay. Did that want to come off? No, it did. I, okay, did. I stopped. Jeez, they're heavy. Maintenance free rechargeable battery. Oops, better connected. So it's 12 volt, 4.5 amp hour. Good batteries, not good batteries. Yeah, batteries. Okay. We want new ones? Just for safety and... Because these are dead. Batteries only last... Oh, okay. Even rechargeables only last... Okay. A few thousand charges and time and stuff. Yep, okay. So, two batteries. A Bluetooth receiver of some sort. Hello. He's so cute. I'm just gonna knock all the screws off if we don't want to. Uh-huh. Should I write any specifications for the batteries? Uh, yeah, write the NP 4.5-12. AH for AH. AH, capital A, lowercase h. So Bluetooth receiver, two batteries. Oops, I turned the screwdriver on. Picked it up by the... <laughs> Gotta love me. And... A cat toy. <laughs> sure. Oh no, wait, it is a cat toy. Everything's a cat toy. Good point. Be careful in there. Yes. Okay, so it's probably like eight years old. No more than that. No, because that was when you stopped being able to use that frequency. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing would be to find out when you stopped being able to use those frequencies. Because it will be somewhat before that, because they stopped selling those things way before mm. you couldn't use them Do anymore. We need twelve to five. That's the other thing mm -hmm. we may need. Oh my god, he's got his paw through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. I love my baby. You just want to be on YouTube, don't you? Wait, you've got your own channel. <laughs> that no one ever posts on. True. So the interesting thing is, there's no easy way to 
close off that face. Well, then you should get a piece of metal and just tip it on. But, well, there's, there's not much to attach it to. Like, you can't, s like, the screws are actually here. Mm, do use the brackets that they used. Yeah, but <laughs> they screwed into this piece of plastic. Mm. Oops. Well, we'll work something out. With the tape deck, is there any way to just keep the face? Face and, like, complete. Probably, yeah. Okay, completely ignore even, like, the little bit that the cassette would go into. Yeah, probably. Because, uh, mm. like, I feel like the whole pull the tape deck down and press the buttons, or, like, even just having the tape deck still there would look cool. Yeah. Because. Let's see what happens tapes. if we take the front panel. So, the front. What we really want is this front panel and that bracket, and probably not much else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we have to take the front panel off to see what else we've got behind it. All that did was take the bracket off. I really <laughs> thought that would give us more access to the back. Apparently okay. not. I think they're connected with these little squiggly bits. Yeah, I actually want to keep them. It's also possible that this will have um, 5 volt on it. Why? Lots of things use 5 volt. Okay. Including tape decks? Possibly. I don't know. Are you Googling it? Yeah. No, you won't. It's, it'll be whatever this specific board oh. is. Yeah. This won't be a standard. I mean, what we could do is plug it in and poke around with the multimeter until we find 5 volt somewhere. Well, yeah. But I honestly think a 12 to 5 volt Which be easy. power supply will be easier. Yeah. Oh, that's rude. Oh. Hmm? That cable is connected to here, but I don't think it's a socket. Like it. It's not good. Is that going to be something we have to cut? Maybe. Oh, I don't think that's a socket either. It looks like a socket. No, it is, but I think it's also glued. <laughs> but then, if you're making something designed to be wheeled out onto an oval, you don't want it to come out. Very easily. Yeah. because children are just not gentle with things. Well, oh, generally not the children that are using it. Okay, I think I've taken out all the screws. Where is he? No, he's backed up. He? So you mean like that? So we went looking on eBay for Bluetooth receivers and there's a variety of them, like 15,000 if you search <laughs> eBay for Bluetooth receiver. Some like this, which was just a bare board. Others which we kind of liked was, had a little front panel like a, designed for a car. Then we found some with a remote and that looked pretty cool. This one I particularly liked because it was 12 volt. In the end we decided to go with this one. It was a little more expensive but it's actually from Australia so it would arrive probably three weeks earlier than something purchased from China. It has a remote and all of the cables that we need. So what did we end up doing about the batteries? Well I don't think there's any point buying batteries on eBay simply because they're so heavy and they cost a fortune to ship. Mm -hmm. So we're just going down to JCAR, our trusty electronic supplier in the local area, and we'll buy them from there. Cool. Well, that's the end of part one. We'll be back with part two, linked up above here, as soon as all the parts are in and we're ready to go again. We hope you liked this video. Leave us a thumbs up down below, or a comment and tell us what you thought of this project idea. If you want more videos from us, you can subscribe down here or watch some other videos here and here or subscribe to our mailing list up here. 
Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.